Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Very good morning to one and all present here. Welcome to 2022 ASU International Conference in Emerging Technologies for Sustainability and Intelligent Systems. Myself, Zainat Fatima Sayyad, Research Scholar from Department of Mechanical Engineering, B.S. Abdul Rahman, Crescent Institute of Science and Technology. The title of the presentation is Investigation of Compression Test Parameters of Cryogenic and Heat Treated AL6101 Closed Cell Foam by ANSYS Workbench. The plan of presentation goes as follows. Introduction, literature survey, key findings and research gaps, objectives of the research, research methodology, research steps, results and discussions, conclusions, recommendations for further work. Metal foams are cellular structures made with metal rather than polymers. Metal foams are made from aluminum, although steel can also be used. There are many benefits with the metal foams, including a very good strength to weight ratio. This is one of the important parameter with respect to the metal foam. They are often used as soundproofing material in vehicles or as cash pro crash protection. In electronics, it can be used as heat sinks. What is foam aluminum? It is a composite of high controlled cell porosity. It can be made as a sandwich structure offering energy absorption, lightweight construction and thermal barrier insulation for many more applications. These are some of the pictures of aluminum foam is shown here. And applications of metal foam normally which includes in automotive industry, in military needs and in uh, railroads. These are the major areas where we can use the metal foams as firewalls, kick-up panels, floor panels, energy absorbing bumpers. If you take in military needs which can be used as lightweight armor, mine blast containment, watertight doors on ships and even in locomotives. The structure of the metal foam looks in this way. Here the cells are divided into distinct nature and the each and every gap we will call which we will call it as a voids. And speaking about the types of metal foams, there are two types available, open cell and closed cell. If you take the open cell metal foam, uh, some uh, like a honeycomb structures, like a mesh structure we can see, while when we see the closed cell metal foam, it will be looking like some dense structure. There is no gap inside because which will be completely filled with the material, in between some holes also will be available. Specifications of AL6101 closed cell aluminium foam which is used in this research which is having uh, the specifications as shown in the figure with uh, thickness, bulk density, porosity, pores and purity. And the chemical composition is shown in the figure. And the properties of uh, AL6101 closed cell foam which has got important property of high surface area to volume high strength to weight ratio and which is completely isotropic load response. It has got a major property of corrosion resistance, process ability and thermal conductivity, which has got magnificent electromagnetic shielding ability and uh, which has got superior tensile strength which is favorable for ductility and which can be used as lightweight, recyclable, high stiffness with very low density and which is used in even absorbing impact energy and which is used e even in vibration damping applications. Extending to the applications of AL6101 which can be used as heat exchangers, pump housings, lightweight structures, biochemical implants, filters in chemical industries, mechanical damping devices, decorative materials, heat exchange materials for electronic components etc. These are the sum of the products as shown in the figure. This is aluminium foam with different densities and some filters, many of the array of products are shown in figure. And general applications, ASF means aluminium sandwich foam. This is the aluminium foam body and which can be used as sound absorbing structures, even decorative coffee table, crash box and some of the tubes filled with aluminium components, aluminium foam components. Speaking about the next topic called cryogenic treatment, which is a supplementary process uh, for normal conventional heat treatment and which is optimistic approach to enhance the mechanical properties. 
which is used to remove the residual stresses and to improve wear resistance on steels and even in composites. Ability to improve corrosion resistance by precipitating microfine eta carbides. Liquid nitrogen, which is used as the working fluid to maintain the deep cryogenic temperature of minus 196 degrees centigrade for the cryogenic treatment. Here, this is the graph for the cryogenic treatment starting from a room temperature which will reach us to zero degree then uh, it will be going to the cryogenic temperature deep cryogenic temperature of minus 196 degree centigrade and slowly which will return back to the room temperature and the applications of cryogenic treatment includes aerospace and defense applications automotive applications in cutting tools forming tools motor sports and fleet vehicles musical instruments, even sport, sports equipments. These are the literature survey, the compression test analysis with the comparative test uh, with the ANSYS workbench analysis. Some of the literature survey is shown in the figure. And uh, the key findings, this is the very important key findings and the research gaps. From the previous literatures, many researchers have most commonly used cryogenic treatment only for ferrous materials to improve mechanical properties and microstructures. And still, there is a scarcity of literature on cryogenic process processing of aluminum components, especially in non-ferrous materials. Most of the literatures are based only on the ferrous materials and only a few studies on the influence of cryogenic processing of aluminum alloy forms using ANSYS numerical solutions. And still lack of investigation into the effects of cryogenic processing on closed cell aluminum forms. Still very few studies were carried out in aluminum closed cell form and exclusively in AL6101 closed cell form. What are the main objectives of this research is to investigate the static compression test performance of AL6101 closed cell foam with different heat treatment as cryogenic treatment, cryogenic heat treatment and conventional heat treatment and to evaluate the research findings among all the different types of heat treatment and to simulate and validate the compression test result with ANSYS numerical solutions. Research methodology, procurement of aluminum foam, AL6101 foam from Goodfellow Cambridge uh, Company, London and uh, from preparation of specimen by using the water jet machining technique and doing all the uh, mean heat and cryogenic treatment process then uh, subjected the specimen to static compression test and the simulation and validation of the compression test result with ANSYS numerical solutions critical findings from the results and discussion and then conclusions research steps there are four different criteria has been tested over here UT means ANS received or without any treatment. HT means heat treatment at a temperature of 350 degrees centigrade for three hours and followed by cooling at room temperature. CT means cryogenic treatment at minus 196 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. CHT means after the cryogenic treatment, the stress relief annealing process performed at 350 degrees centigrade for three hours followed by cooling at room temperature. These are the four different nomenclatures which has been tested in this research process. The GIF image shows the compression test and uh, this is the specimen for the compression test aluminum foam and uh, this is the stress strain graph which we got it from the compression test result. Blue color indicates the untreated zone, this orange color indicates the CHT which means cryogenic heat treated zone. So here it shows UT zone shows very high stress when comparing with the CHT zone. So these are the compression test table. So the values of the compression test has been highlighted over here. Comparison of uh, untreated zone with the cryogenic heat treated zone. The compression uh, stress which is got from CHT zone is very very less when compared with the compression uh, stress in the UT zone and uh, doing the compression test in ANSYS workbench the foam model has been created in GrabCAD software with the dimensions of length breadth and thickness as 50 by 30 by 30 millimeter cube the bounding dimensions of closed cell foam has taken in ANSYS workbench as XY distance as 51.3 24.0 28.3 millimeters 
and due to the presence of porosities the volume of the model has been taken as 45,636 cubic millimeters and the model has been meshed with 14,550 number of nodes and 5,684 number of elements as exposed in the figure. This is the foam model and this is the meshed model. And the compression test material parameters for all the different types of zone when we include the modulus of elasticity and Poisson's ratio automatically the bulk modulus and shear modulus will be updated in the ANSYS workbench. <coughs> and in the compression test zone for untreated or as received material zone we have got the compression test I um, mean compression stress of around 8.2 pascal which which is in terms of megapascal which is 0 0.82 megapascal or newton per millimeter square these are the sequence of operations the model the meshed model and the boundary conditions and the ANSYS result likewise for all the zone which has been represented over here this is for heat treated zone which is 0.46 newton per millimeter square or megapascal the compression stress and the compression stress for cryogenic heat treatment zone is 0 0.83 megapascal and the uh, compression uh, stress for cryogenic heat treated zone is around 0 0.41 megapascal. These are the stress, uh, stress strain graph in comparison with the compression test experimental analysis with the ANSYS. Okay, very close, the graphs are received very close. We have got only less than 4 percentage deviation with the experimental result with the ANSYS result. And this is for the heat treated zone and this is for the cryogenic treated zone and this is for the cryogenic heat treated zone. And here the compression strength of foam test samples for respective zones which is represented in the data format, data table format. So 0 0.84, 0 0.82 for UT. It means only 1.2 percentage of error in deviation, 3.9 percentage for heat treated zone, 0.7 percentage for cryogenic treated zone and 1.6 percentage for cryogenic heat treated zone. This is the GIF picture uh, for uh, the compression test analysis in ANSYS workbench. This is for UT zone, likewise for heat treated zone and for cryogenic heat, uh, cryogenic treated zone and this is for the cryogenic heat treated zone. Speaking about the conclusions, the comparison of stress strain curve emphasizes that the increase of brittleness in the CHT uh, resume regime uh, is due to the reduction of the elastic region and the increase of the plastic region is might be due to the strain hardening effect. And the experimental results highlighted that Cryogenic treatment of AL6101 foam decreases the elastic limit and leads to the brittle in nature. So it is also observed that aluminium foams co could be used to fill the hollow components having very complex shapes and the results showed that the unit cell configuration and the foam density have a significant role in determining the performance of the foam matrix structure. And the comparison of experimental and numerical data proved a deviation of less than 4 percentage from ANSYS results for all temperature zones. It can be confirmed that the ANSYS workbench analysis can be used for any foam related industrial applications in future investigations from this research point of view. Future recommendations according to the global metal foam market analysis and trends industry forecast to 2028. There are so many different types of companies like Adamatus, Aluminium King Company, AMC Electrotechnical Engineering, American Elements, Canada New Energy Materials Corporation, Cymat Technologies, many of the different companies almost already utilizing, already produ producing or manufacturing this aluminium foam products, but still it will be improved more till 2028 plan, according to that plan. And across the world, around 23 countries such as US, Canada, Mexico, UK, Germany, Spain, China, and even Saudi Arabia, South Africa, all are already utilizing the foam uh, on various types of applications like heat exchangers, sound absorbers, automotive constructions, and infrastructure. From this research, it can be confirmed that the ANSYS workbench analysis can be used for any foam related industrial applications in future investigations. In future, more acceptance of aluminium foam in all engineering field 
must be accepted due to its recyclability. It is the wonderful property. And there are some appendices, some references based on the research work. Thank you very much for your patience to uh, listen my presentation. Any questions? Thank you very much.